Hello friends, welcome to another Bible adventure. How has been your week? Hope you had a great week. The holiday should be around the corner now. It's going to be Christmas very soon and I'm so excited. Today, we're going to be learning something interesting. Oh, before I go, I feel so special today because I'm putting on something special. Can you guess what that thing is? Hmm. A crown, yeah. You got it. A crown. Who has a crown? Did I hear you say king? Yes. A king puts on a crown. And today, I'm going to be telling us about a king who didn't wear a crown. He was a king, but he didn't put on a crown. Would you like to know who that king is? He was a very special king, even without his crown. Would you like to know? Okay, before we go ahead, we should say a word of prayer. Hands together, eyes closed, in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for another Bible adventure. Because we will have a wonderful time in your presence. Thank you because you will teach us your word. And we will learn so many great and mighty things in your presence. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is wonderful. Good. Now, I want to ask, did you watch the Bible adventure for last week? Hmm. Are you sure you joined? Good. If you joined, you remember we spoke about a man called John. We said John spoke about a king. He was going everywhere telling everybody about a king. Do you remember the name of the king? Hmm. He told us that the king was going to be mighty. He was going to be a wonderful counselor. He was going to be um, the prince of peace. He told us he was going to be a very special king. And he told us the name of, name of the king. But I'm going to ask us when we come back. But for now, we need to go and praise the Lord and worship his holy name. Would you like to join me? All right, friends, let's go ahead. You're ready to be in the presence of the Lord. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Ready to sing and dance to the Lord. Shout hallelujah.
and worship. I was jumping and dancing and oh Lord, I really enjoyed praising God because it's a good thing to praise the Lord. You know that. So remember that all the time we should praise the Lord because it's a good thing. It gives us joy because it gives me joy to praise the Lord. Okay, so today's Bible adventure story. I told you we're going to be talking about a king that did not wear a crown but was so special and we're also going to learn who his mommy and his daddy were. Because he had a mommy and a daddy, like you do. I'm sure each and every one of you has a mommy and a daddy. So did this beautiful king, this special king. He had a daddy and a mommy. So I'm going to tell us a story. Are you ready to listen to my story? All right. Once upon a time, there was a woman, a lady, sorry, called Mary. 
Mary was in her house when an angel appeared to her and the angel told her, Mary, Mary, you're going to have a baby. And Mary was like, huh? A baby? How? How's that going to happen? How will I get pregnant? How am I going to have a baby? But the angel told her, do not worry. God is going to give you a baby. And that baby is going to be a child of God. Remember, you and you and you and you, every one of us are children of God also. So also it's going to be this special king, but he is going to be a special child of God. And so Mary said, ha, huh, I don't know how this is going to happen. But if you say so, if God says it's going to happen, then I believe. So she believed what the angel said. And the name of the angel, I'm going to tell you, is Angel Gabriel. Say it again. Angel Gabriel. Good. Angel Gabriel told Mary she was going to have a baby. So Mary was waiting for the manifestation for it to happen. But while she was waiting, she was going to be married to a man called Joseph. So she went to tell Joseph, Joseph, an angel told me I'm going to have a baby. That I'm going to have a baby. Joseph was like, what? You're going to have a baby? No, 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 no. How's that going to happen? No, I don't want it. No. And he was upset. And when he got hungry and walked away, the angel appeared to Joseph also. Remember the name of the angel, Angel Gabriel, appeared to Joseph also and told Joseph, 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 Mary is going to have a baby. I'm sure she has told you. So you need to accept the baby and be the daddy of the baby. And Mary said, oh, okay, because God wants you to be the daddy of the baby. The angel told Joseph that. And Joseph was like, oh, really? All right, I'm going to be the daddy of this baby. So Joseph was the daddy of the baby of the king. Remember, I told you the baby was going to be a king. It was going to be a special king. It was going, Joseph was going to be the daddy and Mary was going to be the mommy. And I'm going to tell you the name of the king one more time. Would you like to know? I want you to shout it with me when I say it. Jesus! Yes! Jesus! The name of the king is Jesus. It's going to be a wonderful king. It's going to be the prince of peace. It's going to be the wonderful counselor. It's going to be um, the, the mighty God. It's going to be a wonderful king. And everybody was so excited to have King Jesus. So everybody, the daddy and the mommy, waited as Mary got pregnant. So they were waiting to see their baby. Jesus and that's the end of our story and so Mary and Joseph were the baby we are the daddy and mommy of baby Jesus who is a special king good now it's time for our creativity time for creativity time we are going to be making our horn crown would you like to make one Cool. I'm going to show you how to make it. You need a cardboard, a scissors, and some gum, some glue, sorry. You're going to need some glue. So you're going to spread out your cardboard like this and fold. Watch me fold this way. You take it back. You take it forward. You take it back and forward. Good. Then you cut out the extra side. Pop, 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 pop. Good job. Now we are going to cut out a triangle. Good. Cut, 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 cut. Good. And cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, good. 
Now let's spread it out. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Then we're going to put some gum on the two sides. Like this. Mm. Some gum to stick it together. Yeah, stick the two hands together. Yeah, like that. Then we have our crown. Yay! I love my crown. I want you to tell mommy and daddy to also help you make a crown just like mine. But remember, be careful with the scissors because the scissors is very sharp and we don't want to cut our fingers. Is that okay? Good. So next week, make sure you make your own crown and wear it to that Bible adventure next week. Is that okay? All right, friends. Good. Now it's time to recite our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah 9 verse 6. Let's say it again. Isaiah 9 verse 6 and it says unto us a child is born and it shall be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father the prince of peace let's say it one more time unto us a child is born and it shall be called wonderful counselor Mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Good job, friends. Oh, done. Don't forget the wonderful counselor, the Prince of Peace, and the mighty God is King Jesus. Don't forget that. All right, friends. That brings us to the end of today's Bible adventure. Till I see you again next time. Bye for now, friends. See you next time. Bye.